if we can support farmers uh, to adopt practices that are good for them and good for the reef, we're not just limiting impacts, but we're actually seeing farming become part of the solution towards saving the reef. When I hear about the reef dying and when I experience the fading coral. We actually took the family snorkeling at Laddie Musgrave Island. So we have this very upfront, close experience and it makes me feel a sense of responsibility. As a custodian of the land, as a beef producer, the potential that we have to change that outcome. I think for us here, we're so far from the reef, but like yeah, sediment runoff, that's probably one of the biggest things that we can probably do. So if everyone does a little bit to improve the situation, that's less impact on the reef. And I mean, the reef is vital for our nation's welfare, but it's also vital for the environment. I always had the dream that the fourth generation would, would take over from me. That's when I started looking for ways of working with our country rather than battling everything that the country was growing. What we're trying to do is nothing different to some practices that have been around for a long time. We recognise the importance of intensity of grazing and then we want to give it one hell of a good rest and we're coming out the other end so far with some great results. I think we're both pretty driven in making sure that we're improving the environment while making a profit. We can also tell the public that you know this kind of farming is possible, it's out there and ideally at some point they have the choice to walk into a supermarket and buy beef from someone who is producing it in a way that is good for the environment and good for the reef. You know, the more people that are doing this and looking after the country and that, the better it is for Australia in the long run.